Hey everybody, Redbeard here. I know what you might be thinking right about now. Redbeard? Yeah, it's it's not exactly what it used to be in terms of color, but hey, I guess that's what I get for naming myself after a physical characteristic that can change over the course of your life. At any rate, what we're here to talk about today is the 2020 edition of the Carolinas Professional Wrestling Awards. I've gotten lots of questions over the past weeks and months as to whether or not we were even going to have the awards because, of course, 2020 has been what it is in regard to not only everything that's gone on, but also the professional wrestling scene in the Carolinas not quite having been as active as it normally is. After a lot of deliberation, I've decided that we are going to go through with the 2020 CPWAs. Now, even though 2020 has been limited in terms of our schedule, the fact of the matter is there still have been shows that have been going on throughout the entirety of the pandemic. But that being the case, I felt it would be wrong if we did not celebrate the achievement of those talents that have been actively competing during 2020. There are going to be a couple of little changes. And these are things that were really inevitable because of the fact that, again, 2020. Now, if you follow the CPWAs for any length of time, you know our normal procedures. We have a panel that determines nominees and finalists, and then they also engage with the public in order to determine our winners. Well, this year, we're not going to have quite that same structure. Actually, we're not going to have that structure at all because for the first time ever, we're going to engage in public voting. What? Here's how the whole thing is going to play out. The first stage of the process this year will be acceptance of nominees, and it will go on from December 25th, 2020 until January 1st, 2021. This is to be as inclusive as possible of any events that may be taking place during the end of the year. As we begin to accept nominees, threads for each individual category will be created in the CPWA Facebook group. In each thread, group members are invited to submit a reply to the thread with the name of a talent they want to nominate. There should only be one name per post in order to make the process of tabulating the nominations easier. Nominations are otherwise unlimited, and any post not adhering to posting guidelines will be deleted. The requirements for a talent being considered to be an eligible nominee will be held over from traditional CPWA processes. And if you need more information regarding eligibility requirements, that's covered in the CPWA bylaws which are linked in the pinned announcement on the CPWA Facebook group. Next comes determination of finalists. At the end of the acceptance period, nominations submitted for each category will be tallied. For each category, the top eight nominees by ratio of nominations received to the total number of nominations per category will advance as finalists. And then comes final voting. Once the finalists have been determined and officially announced, final voting will commence. Barring any significant delays in the tabulation of finalists, Final voting will be held from January 4th through January 11th, 2021. The finalist with the most votes wins the category, unless there happens to be a tie in final voting. In the case of a tie, the finalists involved shall advance to a tiebreaker scenario wherein all other competitors will have been eliminated from contention. Another round of voting, which will last seven days, just as the initial round did, will be held with the winner being the finalist that receives the most votes gives you a better understanding of where we're going with the 2020 CPWAs. When we wrap up this announcement, I want to make sure that you guys know how much I appreciate all of you who have continued to follow and support the CPWAs. This project has been a passion of mine for a number of years here now, as you all know, and it's great to be able to say that the CPWAs will in fact continue for 2020. So keep those dates in mind. We will be making announcements though in order to remind folks of what's going on and when. This is certainly all new territory for me in terms of the process. I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes though. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys have for us in terms of your selections for nominees. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how final voting pans out there as well because gosh knows 2020 has been an eventful year for a number of reasons, but it's also been pretty wide open in terms of the talent that's been out there participating. With all that said, let's look forward to getting underway here in a couple of weeks with the nominations process. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys have. I'm looking forward to having fun as we determine the 2020 winners of the Carolinas Professional Wrestling Awards.